Social media is a phenomenal tool and it's turned into something that most business owners are a little bit apprehensive about because you can put in a ton of work, you can put in a ton of effort and you're never going to see a return on it. It's because you don't have your ideas set to the right level because it's turned into a pay to play system and it's nothing but, you know, it's a way that they can communicate with you as a brand, but for a brand to communicate with the consumers, it's a pay to play system. Even with a huge page with a big following, you're not going to be able to do much of a promotion without having that money behind it to put the product in front of them and to put the promotion in front of them. So knowing that on the front end, you can budget for the promotion on the back end. Um, that being said, it's important when you do have a promotion, when you do uh, give, do a giveaway, do kind of percentage off, to point somebody to a retail store where they can buy the product, you have to get their information, whether it be a phone number for a text message campaign or an email for an email campaign. You have to get that information at that point because doing that will make your promotion worth it. You know, if, if you don't gather that information, you're just going to be throwing money over and over and over again. You're not going to see that growth because once you once you're able to get that information, you can then, you know, reduce your promotion to that person and keep promoting to them through the other platforms where you got that, whether that be text message or email. Growing your brand is important by bringing that information in front of them. And social media is an important tool on that, but it's an important tool for the idea that you can focus your efforts in on a zip code and you can focus your efforts in on a demographic and you can pinpoint exactly who you want to contact uh, and put your information in front of. And that's great when you're doing a launch, when you're first putting your product into the stores, having that information in front of them, getting them to see the product online, just to be exposed to it at least. And then when they wander into the store and they see it on the shelf, they'll actually have a notion of what your product is and what it does, hopefully. So getting that information in front of them is very valuable, but doing it broad and doing it in mass can be very expensive. So figuring out your competitive advantage and your demographics on the front end is very important. Figuring out who you're targeting. And then when you put the product in the store, hyper localize that advertisement to those demographics in that area. It might be 50 to 100 people. But to know that going in and to allow for that budgeting on the front end and that front of mind, knowing that you know, if I do a Facebook post saying that I'm in this market, nobody's going to see it. Kind of adjust your expectations on the amount of drive that social media can bring. It's not the end all be all. It can't be the one track that you go down. You have to have it with a multi uh, phase approach, whether that be radio, um, TV advertisements, being everywhere in one area to do a promotion is important. If you want to build a brand, if you're doing a big push, if you're not doing a big push, social media might be a great way to kind of hone in on that key demographic. But if you're going big, it has to be a small component of a much bigger plan.